Hello and welcome to today's edition of Talking to a Biologist. Today we're in the laboratory of Dr. Gary Anderson from the Department of Biological Sciences and we're going to be finding out a little bit about the research that he's doing and the areas that he's been working on as well as find out how he first got interested in biology and what brought him here to the University of Manitoba. Uh, Gary, uh, what was your first educational experience in the biological sciences? I started off as an undergraduate at the University of St Andrews in the UK um, and much like University One here there was a broad suite of subjects that I learned in uh, my first year and realized very quickly that biology was for me for sure. So after you finished your undergraduate degree there did you pursue graduate studies in the UK or do you travel? Yeah, no I, I stayed in the UK to do a PhD and, and one of the beautiful things about Doing research is that it allows you to collaborate both with local people, but also nationally and internationally. So in the context of my PhD, I got to travel to the States and visit and work in a lab in Omaha, in Nebraska. So how different is Omaha, Nebraska from uh, Scotland? Oh, uh, yeah, a little bit. Uh, it wasn't too much of a cultural shock, though, in both Western worlds. So going from the UK to the States wasn't, wasn't too tricky at all. And so when you completed your PhD, what, uh, what area of biological sciences uh, was that uh, degree in? So my research is basically um, comparative endocrinology and um, physiological ecology. So how animals adapt to a given environment, but with a focus on the endocrine systems within that animal and how those, animal, uh, those endocrine systems have changed in more primitive organisms such as elasobranch fish and um, all the way up to humans. Wow, that's uh, quite a, a broad array of uh, work. So what sort of uh, background in the basic sciences did you need in order to do that sort of research? So my original degree was in um, animal physiology at the University of St Andrews. So an understanding of um, evolutionary processes, physiological processes, and a little bit of ecology, not a lot, but um, I'm fine that I'm, I'm bringing that more and more into my research program um, as it develops here at the University of Manitoba. One of the uh, projects that I'm heavily involved with in research is uh, lake sturgeon and the ecology of juvenile lake sturgeon, but also the physiology of juvenile lake sturgeon. So um, there's a, a broad array of questions out there that can be answered. and. And that's one of the beautiful things about research. It's kind of like job security because there's always questions to be answered. Yeah, it's a very interesting time in the, in the life sciences. So we've st we're standing beside some relatively new equipment here. Uh, maybe just spend a few minutes explaining to the students what this uh, column uh, is doing over here. Okay, so um, part of the research that I do is looking at the endocrine regulation of salt and water balance. So. This is a key physiological process and life-sustaining process in all organisms, how they balance uh, the content of various ions like sodium and chloride in their bodies um, and the endocrine agents and hormones that are involved in uh, regulating that balance. So what this instrument does here is um, it measures cations and anions, cations being positively charged ions like sodium and potassium, anions being negatively charged ions like chloride and um, sulfate and phosphate. Um, so what we can do with this is take a, a body fluid sample from uh, any organism um, and inject it onto the instrument here and this will um, ultimately go through various separation columns um, and give us a concentration of a suite of about 14 different ions. Uh, the beauty of that, this instrument is that in one sample we can get all those 14 different ions, but also the uh, level of sensitivity of the instrument allows us to measure these concentrations right down to parts per billion, which is obviously very, very minute concentration. So it, uh, it, is, it really helps in, in determining the role of various hormones in regulating these ions that are critical for life. Right. So that now that you're here in the University of Manitoba and you have this sort of equipment and you're looking at our, the uh, ecosystems here in uh, the Manitoba area, mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about how you ended up actually at the University of Manitoba. How do you get from Scotland to Nebraska and then to Winnipeg? Yeah, the, the um, career path of an academic is always quite an interesting one. And 
Um, for myself, I started off, as I say, in, at uh, the University of St. Andrews and did a PhD there. I then went on to do what's called a postdoctoral um, uh, contract, at, again, at the University of St. Andrews. Again, focusing on endocrine regulation of salt and water balance in uh, elasmobranch fish. And I was lucky enough in the context of one of my PhDs, that, or I'm sorry, postdocs, that um, I worked for about six to eight months of the year at St. Andrews in Scotland, and the rest of the year I spent in Australia because the focus of that project was on bull sharks and how bull sharks adapt to fresh and marine environments, freshwater and marine environments. So that essentially gave me the background in endocrinology and comparative physiology, um, and a uh, job opportunity came up here in the department of, uh, or the former department of zoology, now of course biological sciences, and um, I applied and was lucky enough to be selected to get that position, so and I'm very happy to be here. Excellent. So now a very, very important final question. Uh, what's your lowest score at St. Andrews on the golf course? <laughs> Uh, my lowest score, oh, I'd be lucky to get in the 80s. It was always a lot of fun in St. Andrews, so you got, you got a chance as a student to play the, one of the best-known golf courses in the world for eh, not a lot of money, so yeah, it was good. All right, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Anderson, and the lecture will begin now.